Right, is Wilson Mushora. Now, the death toll on the Kasarani building collapse has reached three after one body was retrieved from the rubble early this morning. So far, eight people have been rescued. The body retrieved was that of a food vendor who had supplied food to the construction workers. She was initially in contact with Kenya Red Cross officials conducting the rescue operation, but her phone went off, and by the time they got to her, she had lost the fight. Police have intensified the search for the owner of the building, who is in hiding since the incident happened, and the construction of the building had been halted by the National Construction Authority after fault lines were detected on the columns. Let's get more from our very own Chem Tai Goin. Rescue operations at the site of the collapsed building in Kasarani entered the second day. With the downpour that rocked the capital, making the job considerably more difficult for the rescuers. The body of Lucy Wanjiro, commonly known as Shiro, a local hotel vendor who was supplying lunch to construction workers, the latest to be retrieved from the debris of the seven-story building. According to the rescuers, Shiro was in constant communication with the Kenya Red Cross rescuers until her phone went off deep into the night. By the time they were able to reach her, she had lost the battle. While the number of missing persons still remains unknown, sources intimate that four more people are yet to be accounted for and are believed to be trapped under the rubble. As the hunt for the developer picks up pace, Lands Cabinet Secretary Zakaria Njeru, Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja, and Kasarani MP Ronald Karauri visited the scene with a warning to developers defying directives on safety of structures that they will face the law. Nyumba kama hizi ambazo zinaendelea bila mpango na bila kuwa zimeweza kupewa kibali na the agents ambazo zina ziko they should stop fourth wheel. We are going to take stern action uh, for those who will defy. We will ask the police and the DCI to find that developer. Who knows he should not be building a building in this way. The standards of materials are wrong. He did not get any permit from the county. There was an enforcement notice. But because of impunity, he decided to go on. He needs to be charged with murder because that is murder. All of those who know they are going on with such construction, I want to put them on notice. Just uh, pull down those buildings yourselves or let us come for you. The guys who are making sure the construction goes on illegally is the developer and the owner. Those two people should be sought for and charged with murder immediately. National Construction Authority CEO Maurice Aketch says his officers had visited the site on the day of the collapse and found the construction workers on site. They told them to leave since the structural integrity of the building was not sound and faults could be detected on the columns. However, soon after the officials left, the workers returned. Hours later, the seven-story building collapsed. The building was not compliant, and that's why we had carried out those uh, actions of arrests. So far, we have cases in court, two cases uh, that are ongoing, and uh, we'll continue uh, pressing uh, charges, including now what has happened here. We are urging all developers, please engage qualified and re duly registered engineers and contractors so that we can, safeguard, we can safeguard lives. NCA says they have heightened surveillance, warning that two out of ten buildings in Nairobi are non-compliant. Meanwhile, rescue operations continue. The disaster response unit from the military is aiding the operations as a manhunt for the developer intensifies. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV, Nairobi. All right, going.